Hi loves. Okay, so my desk is not set up for any sort of unboxing. I'm literally working on orders right now, but I cannot prolong this. I need to open this right now. I'm so excited. This is the Platinum Shape of Heart Chai Latte. I don't remember when it released. I want to say like, was it February? I think it was February, like a little bit after February, right? Like Valentine's Day-ish. I placed my order. It's finally here. I did tell um, Yumiko because that's who I purchased it from, um, Good Pen Life. Over on Instagram, I love her. She helped me get this pen. Um, I purchased it from her then, and I think she was ready to ship it out, like, two weeks ago or something but I had told her I was going to be out of town and everything so I told her to ship it a little bit later and it literally came in today it's so crazy how like the tracking literally updated I think it said um that it passed customs like yesterday and then all of a sudden it's here already and I'm just like oh my gosh that was so fast um anyways <clears throat> this is everything that came out of the box um she shipped it in a beautiful big box you guys i will insert a photo here because i was like whoa this is massive but it was well packaged in there it was bubble wrapped so well and just so thankful for her because you know it arrived safely um so this is the box right here of the pen as you can see i got a fine nib um but let's look at this first i mean i already looked through it but i thought i would share it with you because Yumiko is so sweet. She always, you know, add little things like this. And there's like, I, I took everything out already and like put it all in one thing. But like cute little note from her that you guys know I always keep my notes from her. Um, and here are all the stickers that she had um, added as like a freebie. Another one of these guys. I think this is my third one from her now so cute it's a cute little note like that i i keep these um i put it on my desk so i have like a little collection from her now um but yeah these are just like super cute stickers that she had added in my package i'm so excited to use these in my journals like how adorable is that and it's all just like floral themed and everything and this is adorable. Hold on a second. Let me put these all back. Because they're all like kind of like ephemera stickers type. Look at this. This is so cute. It's like a little book. But it's like manga. And it's, it's paper. It's like a paper pad, you guys. Like it's so cute and thin. I'm totally going to use this. I'm so excited. Like, this is so cool. You guys know I love anime and manga. So, thank you so much, Yumiko. Like, this is such a cute little present. I've never seen anything like it. I'm pretty sure it's just like a, you know, like a notebook type of deal. Um, I'm just gonna, like, rip them, like, rip pieces off when I use it or something. Like, it's just so cute. I'm gonna have to translate it or whatever. Um... <laughs> later on but like this is adorable so thank you so much for the cute little freebies it just you know makes my day and makes the package a little bit more special right okay so here we go i'm gonna go ahead and unbox this um i'm not gonna ink it up but i just just really really want to see it i have been waiting for this pen and i'm just so excited um you guys know i love my platinums so i just ugh, i need to open it now and look it's a pea. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I'm told it's gonna keep that and put that in my journal. Try to take it off nicely here. Like, this is so cute. <laughs> Liam was like, Who? What present is that? I'm like, Oh, it's my pen. <laughs> like, this is so sweet that she wrapped it and everything. Okay, here we go, guys. Oh my gosh. Here's the box. I'm so excited. Okay, we have it right side up. Good. It says right here, platinum. I don't know what any of that means, but there you go. A little tag there. Oh my gosh. Let's open it. I'm so excited. 
excited. I'm so excited. My goodness. Oh my gosh. Fountain pen, warranty card. Oh, I'm so excited. I love my platinums. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh, mixable ink. Create your own ink color. I'm going to have to see how to do this. Like what? Mixable ink. What does that mean? Or is it just like a brown ink? Like you guys let me know. What is this? I'm going to have to look it up. But this is so cool. So it comes with that, a converter, and also a cartridge. And here's the beautiful, gorgeous pen. And it does say 3776 Century Shape of Heart. Wow. Oh my gosh, it's matte. Is this my one and only matte? Matte pen? Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Wow, sorry about my nails. I haven't done them yet. Like, it's been going on three weeks. Or, yeah, it's definitely been two weeks, so. Anyways. What? You can hear it. <laughs> I just want to see the, the heart. It's in there somewhere. Oh my gosh, so cute though. Oh my gosh. This might be my one and only matte pen. Or no, Winter Rain by Sailor is a little bit matte, I think. But like, this is totes matte. Oh my god. Wow, it's so pretty. I love the color so much. It's the perfect beige, like, and then the rose gold accents. Oh my gosh, this is, yep, this is it. Like, this is my nude pen. Like, it's so good. I am in love. It, the packaging goes so well, like, yes. Wow, I, I don't even know what to say. I feel like it feels lighter than my other Platinums. I like guess all that's in the box, right? Just, like, maybe there's a little secret compartment. I'm just kidding. Um, no, it does feel a little bit light. Let me see. So this is my other fountain pen or Platinum that's not inked. I, all the other ones are inked. Let me take the cartridge out and then see the weight. <clears throat> Yeah, this feels a lot lighter, this shape of heart. And I think it's because the body is, it might be different. Um, you, you guys correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, you can just see that it's totally matte. I love how it looks. But I will say that I do prefer a shiny finish like this compared to a matte finish, but I mean, this doesn't feel bad or anything. It just feels a little lighter, but it's fine, I think. I am a little iffy though, because since it's matte, is it gonna scratch? Because I like to post my pens, but then it's like I always post these and I don't worry about the scratch. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, just keep that in mind. This is a matte finish finished um pen also by the way i heard that atlas stationaires are doing pre-orders on this pen once again so i will try to uh link all of that in the description box down below and then if i can find like other retailers who um are selling you know this as well i will link it all in the description box but definitely reach out to good pen life um, over on Instagram, I love Yumiko. She goes through with everything and, you know, really does a good job in helping me find um, 
my fountain pens and you know get it for a pretty good price compared to other resellers online okay so i'm very excited about this i i'm, I'm happy with it it looks so beautiful it says right there 3776 century platinum i love it it looks so good just a little bit of a comparison there it's so pretty and really yeah i feel like um this feels heavier than this like the shape of heart feels lighter it might just be me maybe i'm just being weird about it but yeah i do wish um that the converter that it came with is like either a gold or a rose gold hold on <clears throat> now i'm like curious to see i have all of my other fine pens here like see this one the converter for this is rose gold like and has cherry blossoms like totally was made for it and this one has oh it is silver oops never mind that one's silver maybe it was just the Aoka one that is like a special converter let's see what this one is not that it matters really because this is very much so opaque so you won't see oh yeah see this one came with a gold one hmm interesting okay so i'm pretty excited maybe they don't have like a rose gold one you know what i mean and i think this one what's in this one this one might be gold yeah maybe they only have gold or silver and then for rose gold they just do silver maybe maybe anyways yeah i'm so excited yes i already have so many pens inked up at the moment but i will definitely ink this up in a day or two <laughs> um i just i'm so excited and it is so beautiful i hope you guys are you know seeing how stunning this is my goodness i will try my best to like ink it up and get this video up as soon as possible because it's so beautiful and again i really you know i want everyone to get this pen because uh it's definitely one of those pens that you know i was told it's going to be available in the u.s as well but like during the pre-order um pre-order slot time slot um it like sold out so fast and i feel like a lot of people didn't even get a chance to get it so i you know i heard at last is doing pre-orders again so i hope people who didn't get it the first time will get it but i think considering you know they did say that it's going to be available in the u.s as well and all of that um that once it's actually released there will be more for everybody i really hope so um because this is just so beautiful and i feel like it's very rare for uh companies to release such a stunning pen in the u.s i feel like all the pretty ones are always from like japan and it's always so hard to get so for us to finally have something so beautiful i i just want everyone to get it you know so anyways that is it for my little unboxing of this beautiful pen i'm gonna go ahead and do my little research on this and probably ink it up and then i'll probably come back and get this video up right away <laughs> yeah i guess i want to ink it up and i want to know what this mixable ink create your own ink colors is like what what does that mean <laughs> It's a little bit later in the day. I had to take a break really quick earlier. Um, but I am back and here is um, a swatch of this ink. I had asked my friend Lau from Kenshin Crafts if he knew anything about it. And he said that, you know, it's just a name. Don't worry. It's, it's just a normal ink. So I'm like, okay, cool. Because um, I'm like, do you literally have to like mix this? What? <laughs> Anyways. First of all, though, the bottle, I just noticed. This is so cute. Look at the cap. Shape of a heart. Oh my gosh, adorable. And yeah, this is the color. And honestly, I'm just gonna put it in my pen. Um, you know, I think 
it will match it. It's just a brown. I was thinking of maybe something a little bit gray though. Like, not gray. Um, more so like a beige. But I actually I didn't tab it here yet. But I do have my lineup already. And I, this is my lineup. My current pen lineup. And, oops, sorry about that. And I feel like... Yeah, so I have Nostalgic Honey already in one of my pens. And it's pretty similar, except this is a little more, I'm going to say red. And this is more of like that orangey brown. Um, And then Opera Rose, yeah, Opera Rose is what looks almost similar to it, to be honest. So maybe I'm not going to use this. Maybe I should grab a different, um, a different ink. What do you guys think? But like, wouldn't Sailor Studio 273 like look so good? Wouldn't that look so good? I mean, uh, any of these would look really good to be honest with you. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's see, I do have, um, <clears throat> You know, I used um, the rice beige. Maybe I can use this one, the Rabbit Mocha. It has a little bit of a shimmer, but of course I'm not going to suck up any of the shimmer. Maybe I'll go with that. Rabbit Mocha. I'm going to try that. We'll see how it goes. Hold on. Okay, so this is the ink, the Color Traveler Okunoshima Rabbit Mocha. And I'm just going to do this so you can see the shimmer in the bottom. I'm not going to shake it up because I don't want to suck up too much shimmer. This is a fine nib. I don't want it clogging. But here is my swatch of it. And you can see it has this like silvery type of shimmer. So I'm going to go ahead and just ink this pen up with this ink. That hurts my hand. Wow. So I'm just going to do it this way. I usually do the whole... What's it called? Um, syringe thing, but I'm too lazy to go grab it. So let's just suck it up like this. Oh, there we go. I'm like, what? Okay. So I got some ink on the on the grip section there. Let me wipe it down. Oh, I think I'm all set there. Okay, I'm going to do it right here, and today is April 8th. Oh my gosh, this is so smooth. Wow. Okay, let me zoom you in a bit. That's a good color choice. I like it. Okay, so what is this called again? Shape of Heart Platinum. Oh my gosh, that's writing so smoothly with a fine nib, and this is chai latte. And this has with Color Traveler. I'm just gonna write Rabbit Mocha. Because it's super long. Oh my gosh. This is so pretty. Again, this is supposed to have a shimmer. But I didn't suck any of that up. So you are not seeing any shimmer really. But I love the color. Wow, it's so pretty. Hello. Goodbye. It's so pretty.
yeah this looks so pretty and it's writing so smoothly like <sighs> no pressure at all sorry I'm like writing terribly but this is so good I'm so happy with this color combination You can hear it. It's like a little shaker up top. Oh my gosh. Like, you can't even tell me that does not look good. <clears throat> like, look at that. This color combination. Obsessed. I think I did pretty well there. I'm very happy with this. More than, you know, I was going to put something like this in there. Yeah, I definitely love this um, color better. Oh, so pretty. So there you go, guys. That is my new Platinum Shape of Heart pen. All right, guys, so it's been actually a few days. I filmed the unboxing on Monday, and today's Wednesday when you're going to see this video. But I thought I would share with you the pages that I did with this pen. Um, I journaled last night, um, caught up with my pages so i wanted to share with you like how it writes and yeah i love it so much i did one two um three four five six pages with this pen and this is just kind of how it writes with the ink i love it i love me a fine nib on a platinum I mean, I also really like an extra fine, but a fine is also very good and comfortable. And this is the Hobonichi A6 size, if you're wondering. And I love it. I love, love, love it. And the ink color, I hope this is giving you an idea or a better kind of like feel for the ink color and the pen. Also, the lighting today is so much better than on monday but like how beautiful is that i love this ink color and pen combination i think it looks amazing um slippy wipe this down a little bit to just kind of do some more close-ups here i know my nails are still horrendous i need to do them and my cuticles are so dry but oh my gosh the pen though isn't it just so beautiful? I love, love the color combination. And the rose gold just looks so nice and soft with this color. I don't remember if I mentioned this, but I was thrown off that it was matte. I didn't know it was matte, or I probably did know, but it's been a while and I forgot. And it did throw me off a little bit. I, I was like, whoa, this feels weird. It did feel a little bit more plasticky. And without the ink in it, it really felt so much lighter um, than my other Platinums. But now that it's inked and ready to go, it added, you know, a little bit more weight to it. And I feel like the weight is substantial. It's pretty similar to my other Platinums. And I do really like it. Um, it does have that kind of like... Can you hear that? You can hear these uh, cute little crystals <laughs> shake it's so cute it's like a little shaker when you're writing you kind of hear it sometimes because i do post my pens when i write but yeah i just really love it um again i was a bit thrown off but after having it for like you know a few days now and or two days and writing with it i can say that i really do love it and I'm so happy that it's in my collection. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Enjoyed this really like quick impromptu unboxing. Like literally I got the box and I was like, I'm going to film. I don't even care. I don't need to set up or anything. I just, I just want to unbox this with you guys right here and right now. And I hope you like that, I guess. <laughs> so Anyways, if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave it in the comments down below. I love talking to you guys about, you know, pens and stationery in the comments. So any feedback or anything, I, I just love 
reading and you know just kind of having a conversation down there so anyways that's it thank you all so much for being here if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up it really helps out my channel and also consider subscribing if you love videos like this and yeah all right i'll see you all soon in my next video bye